Good morning. That's going great so far. Guess what? I have a secret worker. No. Nope. Hello. She's my secret weapon in my office working away. What you doing I'm back not there? Working. <laughs> oh, you're not working. I see. Today is pretty pretty solid. It's I don't know what day of the week it is. Is it Thursday? I don't know what day it is, but it's going good, whatever day it is. Just had a meeting with um, an AdWords client that went really good. That's I'm going amazing. I'm just running ads today, like always, and I'm going to be updating and hopefully finishing the startup site. So we'll go over that stuff, but it's going really good. How are you doing back there, Meme? <laughs> doing good. I love you, kid. I had to go run a few quick errands really quick. And then I'm going to go back home and start working on the website. I finished all the ads that I needed to run for today. Well, actually with the exception of one, but I have the uh, landing page and stuff all finished up. Today I'm going to be working mostly on getting um, just the about page finished up, the services page finished up, and the outline of the product more specifically so that should be really cool um i'm excited to get that all up i gotta talk to barrett about what is going to be included in this yeah, first deep, version man. of the app and um not the app but the it's a web app technically so that's gonna be pretty cool um i think that well i'll show you what i'm gonna be doing but um one of the things that most people mess up on when they're creating their websites for either their new product or service is they talk about themselves too much. And um, everything on the website needs to be framed in order of why it's important to the prospective client. Like everything, even the about page needs to be what's in it for me versus like what we're all about. And so I'll show you what I mean about that. But I think that... Um, it's a super important distinction to think about, especially when you're going on a, like, everybody has an about page just because it's it's there. But when you frame the about in terms of what is in it for the client, then that helps it to be actually an effective sales tool. Versus when you just talk about yourself and how great you are, it doesn't really help at all. Um, I think I learned that from Donald Miller from StoryBrand. His book is amazing. If you've never read that book, you should check it out. I'm gonna go grab a nitro coffee because I love those nitros and there's one place right next to oops right down the street that has them. I really want to go drive my Jeep in the mountains today too. I want to see if maybe maybe we can do that. That would be super fun. Alright. Let's go get some nitro. Oh man, this nitro is the best coffee ever. Agree or disagree? What do you think? I need to know. All right, so I'm just back at the office. I'm inside of Ad Espresso, working on Facebook campaigns, optimizing campaigns and stuff, and launching new ones. Um, and that's going pretty good. I think uh, one time I'll do a video on how I optimize my campaigns and test and confirm tests and all that good stuff. But so far, things are going pretty good today. Um, had some AdWords work that I'm working on too for uh, local clients. I love doing local AdWords. I think it's a fantastic, um, fantastic medium for small businesses. If you need help with local AdWords, if you're in a small business, let me know. Um, I'd love to, love to help you with that. Today, the rest of the day is going to be built around well, launching. I got three ad campaigns to launch right now, and then it's going to be all about getting that site up and finished right now. So, that's the whole plan of it. I'm going to show you real quick what that's going to look like in just a second here. Um, and then going to get to it. I also have to record a few videos. I'm trying to get a stockpile of videos for my like marketing tutorials um, just to have as backup and things. Um, yesterday I shot two videos. I'm going to start adding native LinkedIn videos too because um, I really want to grow my LinkedIn channel and my LinkedIn content. I think that LinkedIn is so, so powerful, especially like my business, which is business to business. I think that there's huge, huge opportunity there. And even if you're not business to business, it's still tremendous um, 
from a, a perspective of there's so much opportunity there to connect and collaborate and stuff. So it's a great uh, network. In those videos, I'm going to be doing square um, videos with the top and the bottom header things, um, just because that's the native size and native content there. And I would love to know, are you on LinkedIn? If so, drop your link below um, for your LinkedIn profile, because I would love to check it out. All right. Uh, and then I guess All right, I just shot some videos. It went great. The rest of the day is just gonna be launching ads, working on the, the website stuff. And um, I have really set up um, the USP for the, the branddealtools.com website. Um, I got some revisions on logos from that. And uh, Barrett is working on getting the code going. So very exciting stuff. I think that um, whenever you're starting projects like this, where it's just really kind of lofty projects, you typically are going to take longer than you hope. It's going to be more difficult than you think. And so trying not to have high expectations um, is really important. And I know that sounds weird, but try not to have expectations and just work as hard as you can. I think that that's kind of the good rule of thumb when you're creating content or you're creating just any kind of new project that you want to get going because it's going to help you to get get you know keep in it for the long run and not get burned out especially when you're you're testing and trying new things and it's not working out as good as you hoped so that's it for today i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you tomorrow bye everybody